Welcome back, everybody, to day three of the Procreate Festivus Advent Calendar. When you cut the cord to pencil and paper and try your first digital drawing, you just want to get started drawing to scale right away. The last thing you want to worry about is what paper size to make it, whether that paper size will work with the scale that you want, or whether your line work will be fuzzy or sharp. It's just a lot to think about on your own. It's just a lot to figure out on your own. It's just a lot to figure out on your own. One of the most common actions we'll do in this class is to launch a new project by tapping the import button and then going to our iCloud drive and bringing in one of our grids. And you can see here the Imperial grids, 17 by 11 and 24 by 18, and the metric grids, A2 and A3. So I'll show you, I'll launch a 17 by 11 Imperial grid and you can choose the ones whether they have a quarter inch spacing or eighth inch spacing or they have a larger emphasis or no emphasis and I'll choose this eighth inch by with an emphasis and you'll see what that means in a moment and there's your eighth inch and here's your emphasis now the reason this is so helpful is because these grids come in at 11 by 17 by 300 dpi and if you were to count these emphases, you would see that it's 17 by 11. And why that's important is because the grids are also linked to the scale rulers. So if I now tap the Actions menu, and I tap the Add button, and I tap the Insert a File button, I can now go back to the main page of my iCloud Drive and find my scales, Imperial Scales, and I think in this case I'll launch a half scale because it's easier to move it around. And I'll choose right off the top uh, the eighth and quarter inch half architect scale. And that comes in. And you can see that when I move that over and it's ready to be moved right away, you can see the marching ants indicating that it's ready to go. And watch what happens when I move the zero over to match the large emphasis of the grid. And notice here I'm tapping to make that move one pixel at a time. A terrific part of the move tool. Now if I turn off the move tool and I come over here, you'll see that 8 feet falls on one of the emphasized grid lines and 16 feet, 24, and on and on. So the scale rulers and the grids are coordinated to work together and it's a very helpful way sometimes to launch a project, begin a new project. And just to get that in our muscle memory, let's do the same thing again, but this time let's launch a metric grid. So I'll go back to the home page of my iCloud Drive. I'll find my grids, and this time I'll launch a metric A3 grid. I'll choose the one that has an emphasis. Now comes that grid. And notice that that now sets the proportion of the project that I'm working in. And you can see the emphasis there. And now if I launch, or rather if I add a metric scale to this, we'll see the same way that it's been calibrated. So I'll add a half scale. I'll go to the metric portion. And now I'll add a metric scale to that. Return to the insert a file command under the actions menu. Return to my iCloud drive find the scales. Here they are. And I'll choose the half scales again. I'll choose the half metric. Maybe I'll go to 1, 1 equals 50 this time. Up comes the scale. And if I enlarge that, you can see once again that the metric scale is coordinated to the metric template. Well, that's day three of the 23 Days to Procreate Festivus. Don't forget to come back tomorrow and every day until New Year's for all 23 mini lessons. And if you're interested in buying the One Minute Masterclass mini course or any of the other online courses I offer, be sure to check out the link in the description below. See you tomorrow.